Virgos. Welcome to your uh, love reading, excuse me, from today, July 15th to the 23rd for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for my newbies, I always go through a meditative session and pre-shuffle. Then I go ahead and get into the reading itself. So Virgos, I love your energy right now. It feels very zen. It feels very, very zen. It feels very, very tranquil. For those who haven't been experiencing that, you're moving into that. It just feels really good. Um, they showed me, they actually showed me blossoming flowers, which I thought was really cool. It was really pretty. Um, I feel like whatever you've been working on or putting your energy into, you're about to see the rewards of that. You're about to experience um, the fruit of your labor, so to speak. So if you've been working on yourself, like self growth, you're going to really, really be realizing, wow, I have grown a lot. Or, you know, I really learned a lot. Or I'm in a much better place. I feel a lot more grounded. I feel a lot stronger in my spirituality or I feel a lot more confident in myself if you've been working on a project or a business of, of some sort you're starting to see the fruits of your labor come through um, in that regard and if you've been working on a relationship you're going to see the fruits of that labor and it's interesting because I feel like if you have been working on a relationship like I said I'm feeling a lot of self-growth I feel like that relationship has been between you and yourself but some of you have been working on your family relationships Definitely some of you been working on your family relationships. I just saw children. So definitely in regards to maybe children you have or your parents, because you are the children of your parents, right? Um, and if you've been working on issues with that, it's really been paying off. It's really, really been paying off. Now, I was also getting a lot of third eye energy with you, Virgos. And going a while back, I want to say maybe like a month or so ago, your... Oh, focus. There we go. Um, your uh, intuition is really on point, really on point, And you were vibrating really, really high. <coughs> Excuse me. In the recent past here, Virgo, though, I f Virgo, though, I feel like your third eye has kind of been a little bit blocked, a little bit blocked, or just um, you haven't been getting as clear of intuitive hits as you've been wanting to get. Okay. And I, I don't feel like, eh, how do I say this? It is kind of distorting some uh, some truth that you're feeling is the truth, but it's distorting it. So it's a little bit of an illusion. And with this full moon energy, it's going to bring, be bringing that to your attention. Um, it's going to be bringing the truth to your attention, what the truth really is, and clearing up any distortions or any any kind of lack of clarity you've been getting with what your intuition has been telling you. Okay? All right, so let's get into the pre-shuffle. So we have King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. It could also be Earth or Air with the Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, and the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. It could also be Air or Fire. Then we got the Moon. Oh, yeah. Piscean energy. It could also be a Cancerian for me as a reader. Then this was really interesting. If I could pick it up. Three of Swords, uh, Libra energy with the Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. It could also be Pisces or Scorpio uh, with the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. It could also be Earth or Water. We do have a true pair on the board, the King and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So definite soulmate energy, at the very least kindred spirits, right? So basically someone that you are very compatible with in some regard, whether this is a family relationship or romance, I do feel like it's strongly romance, okay? Just being honest. Now, let's start over here. So this King of Pentacles, Three of Wands in Reverse, and Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords in Reverse, um, I definitely feel like someone's not seeing a conversation coming their way. <coughs> Excuse me. Someone's not seeing um, a conversation coming their way. I'm also getting another group where there's been anticipation of something coming their way and it's not happening, right? Again, that distortion of um, your intuition. So Virgos, whichever seat you're in, whether you've been anticipating someone coming your way and it's not happening, um, or you, you've you been very much like, yeah, nothing, no one's gonna come and be talking to me. No one's gonna be coming and giving me any news. Well, they are, okay? Um, and I'm not saying your intuition has been lying to you or cheating you. It just seems like there's been some third eye blockage, okay, kind of going on with Virgos lately. And whatever you've been highly anticipating might not exactly be accurate, okay? So just keep that in mind, especially that we have the moon right smack dab in the middle of these energies. This is all about illusions, right? Uh, <coughs> my throat chakra has not been happy and I just realized I'm doing a Virgo reading. My throat chakra is really not going to be happy during this reading. But anyway, guys, this is about illusions and lack of clarity, right? And for some even secrets. And I do feel, like I said, you will be getting some truth and clarity because of this full moon energy. But I also feel like there is a conversation that is trying to be had once, once, once. Okay. Virgos, if you've been wanting to avoid a conversation with someone, someone's been wanting to have that conversation with you. 
and vice versa. You've been wanting a conversation with someone, someone hasn't been wanting to talk about it, okay? So choose whatever side of the table you're on. But either way, there's a lot of truth that could be had in this conversation, especially as we go into this energy with the Three of Swords, Queen of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Swords, and Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, the, the, um, the matching partner, <laughs> I'll just say matching partner to the king here, um, definitely has a sense of betrayal here. Feel like they've been stabbed in the back. Uh, there's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain and someone's really, really freaking hurt. And I feel like either you or someone you're connected to is going to be getting some truth that there's there's actually a lot more going on than met the eye or even that your intuition could even pick up on, okay? So if you feel like you're the hurt party, you're gonna find out a hell of a lot more as to what happened and to why this person hurt you. And to be honest, I feel like the truth is a little painful. And I know that kind of sucks because you're in a tranquil air. You're in a tranquil mode right now. You're in Zen mode right now, and you and you really want to hold on to that. And I know you don't want that to get fucked up. So just stay grounded. Just stay as grounded as you can during this time, especially as this truth is kind of coming to light. Um, and if it's the reverse of that, where you've been avoiding a conversation because there's something that you've been holding back regarding someone else, it is going to be very painful for them. It's going to be very painful for them to hear whatever this is. Okay. Yeah. Damn. All right. I know, Virgos. I know. Some of you are like, really? I'm like, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. <clears throat> oh, my God. Sorry, guys. Mm. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. Anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Now, don't let this, whatever this is, affect the progress you've had. Because like I said, you're seeing the fruits of your labor in whatever it is you've been putting your energy in in the recent past, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, that has been self-growth and family relationships. And it has really done wonders for you. And remember that. Remember that, okay? That's going to help keep you grounded. Any messages for Virgos? Regarding love <clears throat> from now until the 23rd. Any messages for Virgos regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Virgos regarding love from now oh, until the 23rd? Okay. Oh my. <laughs> Four of Pentacles in reverse and Three of Cups in reverse. A Capricorn energy over here and Cancerian energy over here. Really letting go of disappointments. This is past energy. This is what this is actually what you've been working on as far as your um what efforts you've been putting in in whatever it is you've been working on. So again, if it's business, you've been letting go of people who haven't been pulling their weight. Um <clears throat> if it's self-growth, you've been really uh, letting go of, of people who've disappointed you and feeling more friends than anything else. Friends and social circle that have really let you down in the past. You, you're letting that go. You're letting that go. You're, 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 you've been clearing out the clutter for yourself. Okay, keep uh, hanging in there with me, guys. I know my speech is all over the place. Mercury retrograde at work. <laughs> I, do have, I do have a very strong mercurial placement in my chart. Anyway, you're letting go of that. That's part of the effort you've been putting into yourself, your business, your family relationships. Yeah, if you've if you've had a lot of disappointments around family relations, specifically ones that are a lot closer to you, um, not just your extended family, but like parents, siblings. Oh, I just heard cousins. Okay, so I guess for some of you, it is extended family. Um, you're letting go of that. And that's really helped you get more zen and more tranquil. Okay. <clears throat> Any other messages? Ooh, we have Page of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which is Virgo energy. This is also Earth and Fire. There's some news coming in here, though. This is news that's making you stop, making you stop in your tracks a little bit. Yeah, it's like you've been growing, you've been putting in the effort, you've been putting in the time, and you're feeling good, feeling tranquil, seeing the seeing the fruits of your labor really come to fruition. Um, and then all of a sudden you get this news. You get this news, and it kind of puts you in a bit of a standstill energy. Let's see what else we get. <clears throat> Any other messages for Virgo? Stunned? I did just hear stunned. You're going to be a little stunned by whatever this news is. <clears throat> Any messages for Virgo? Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Any messages for Virgo? Regarding love? Okay. Oh, 
Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy, and Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Could also be Aries or Leo. I'm getting a lot of reckless energy. Reckless energy. I feel like this Knight of Wands is not you. I feel like this is someone else involved in this situation. I feel like this is what you're getting news about. You're getting news about this energy, the Knight of Wands and the Hierophant in reverse. I'm getting a difference of beliefs. I think this person has a different way of looking at things or a different perspective on the world. They could be from a completely different religion. They could have been um, raised in a very different way than you. I'm just getting a very big difference in belief systems between you and this person. But this person is, is a little reckless because of it. They were reckless. Okay. This is part of the truth that you're that's going to be coming out to light that there was some reckless behavior involved in some of the some in some of the pain that that was had and some of the you know in some of the really awful endings that might have happened between you and this person okay whether it was them doing it or you pick up pick what side of the table you're on you'll know yeah recklessness and a difference of beliefs i feel like this person didn't really believe in anything this is interesting. I'm getting this person's journey a little bit. Uh, I feel like this person didn't really believe in anything for a very long time. And there's something about you that changed that, but they didn't necessarily believe what what you believed in. You might, I think you did share your belief systems with them, but they weren't really, they weren't really convinced that that was for them, but it did make them start to think about what they actually believed in. And if they were to have a faith system, what faith they would have. And so that kind of made them do a little bit of a dive into their own faith and their own spirituality, trying to figure out what really fit them. But I'm, I'm still getting that difference, though. Whatever they believe, it's not what you believe, but you helped open their eyes and open the door for them to explore that for themselves, which is pretty beautiful, I got to say. But they did something reckless. They did something reckless. Overall energy, we do have Page of Swords. Underneath that, we do have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So I do feel a little bit of an offer with this news as well. Some of you might be getting an offer. Some might be getting an offer. Not all of you. Some of you are some of you're just getting news. Other, others are getting news with an offer, okay? I'm, I'm getting they've been watching you. They've been watching your success. Oh, wow. They've been watching your growth. Virgo. They've been watching your growth. They've been watching you gain more stability in your life. They see you as a rock, honestly. Um, they're seeing you as someone who could really be a rock for them. I did just see anchor though. Mm. I don't know if I like that energy. Why am I seeing an anchor? Because I mean, I'm getting like a, I'm getting mixed feelings about that anchor imagery. Because anchor to me is very much like, like a rock, right? It's like, you know, someone that helps keep you grounded. And Virgo, you do have a lot of grounding energy about you. So you probably do help that person with this. But at the same time, anchor energy to me is is someone that can't really get up and grow. Someone who stays a little stickety stuck. But either way, they've been watching you. They see that you're stable. They see that you've grown a lot. Yeah, and they like that. They like that. You're also very proud of yourself, Virgo, and as you should be, as you should be. You're very proud of yourself and your achievements and what you've accomplished for yourself, especially those who've been working on self-growth specifically, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. So like I said in the beginning, this is part of your efforts that you've been making, cutting out the disappointments, letting all of that stuff go, especially when it comes to disappointments around family, you've really been letting that go. People who really haven't been there for you, people who really haven't supported you in your efforts, you've been really setting boundaries. And that's really, really awesome, Virgo. That's really, really healthy. So since that's past energy, I don't really want to hold on to that. I'm more curious about this, about the news that you're going to be getting. So let's look at the page of wands. Like I said, some of you, it's news and an offer. Others, it's just news. So let's use the Gilded Tarot. Tell me about Page of Wands. For Virgo. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about Page of Wands. For Virgo. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. the page of wands for Virgo regarding love from now until the 23rd okay tell me about the page of wands for Virgo regarding love from now until the 23rd 
<clears throat> Tell me about the Page of Wands for Virgo regarding love from now until the 23rd. Oh boy, yeah, damn it. Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, finding out the full shit. <laughs> the full shit? Jesus. <laughs> finding out the full picture of the shit they put you through is what I really meant to say. <laughs> Well, I'm very Yoda speaky today. Anyway, guys, um, this is revisiting the scene of the crime. Whatever happened, you're actually going to get the full story, and it is going to leave you a little stunned here, okay? Tell me about Page of Wands. For those who are just getting news of this, I feel like you're going to find out through the grapevine, okay? Yeah, full in reverse. Foolish energy. Like, literally Foolish. Like, I, oh, oh, I don't want to say that word. That sounds really harsh. Oh, I just got the word idiotic. I don't want to use that word because it sounds really harsh. But that is what I heard. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus energy. Someone acted a damn fool. Tell me about Page of Wands. Tell me about Page of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Virgos, also don't let don't let this news and clarity make you feel like a fool in this. If you are the receiving end of the, I, I'm actually getting victimization. If you're at the receiving end of this, um, don't let it make you feel like you're an idiot. Don't make don't let it make you feel like you're a fool. Other people are going to do what they're going to do, and that's not a reflection on you. Okay. Tell me about the page of wands. For Virgo, regarding love. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Virgo. Mm, regarding love from now until the 23rd. Why do I feel like someone fell for a snake oil salesman energy? So we have Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Could also be fire or water with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus energy. Six of Pentacles, Moratorian energy, and then overall we have the Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy. <sighs> wow. I gotta be honest, guys. I was definitely getting that as I was getting these last cards out. Someone fell for a snake oil salesman. That's kind of how this feels. Um, coming through as a Queen of Wands energy. Coming through as a Queen of Wands energy. They bought what this person was selling, and they didn't realize what they were buying. I'm almost getting this energy of like, they, they were fixing all my woes. I feel like this, this is the news you're finding out about this person. <clears throat> that they thought this Queen of Wands energy could fix everything for them. Fix their woes, fix their problems, answer to their, answer to their prayers, not to sound dramatic. I feel like they were in a very bad place, whoever it was that you were dealing with. I feel like they were in a Five of Pentacles energy. Feeling like they didn't have very much to hold on, to stand on. I was going to say hold on to, but then I heard stand on. They didn't have very much to stand on. In the physical sense. So that could be money. Money's coming in really strong. Um, they might have lost a lot to this person. They might have lost a lot to this person. Got themselves in a really bad situation here. Virgo. And as a result, it affected whatever relationship they had with you. Yeah, it affected whatever relationship they had with you. I'm actually hearing thievery too for some. I'm actually hearing thievery. Ooh. I just heard 401k. Whoa. <laughs> Virgos, you might be finding out this person gave the Queen of Wands a lot of their money. Ac oh, jeez. Oh, my heart just sank. Access to their money. Ugh. Access to their money. Virgo, if you're married to this person... I'm sorry. Like, like seriously, my heart, like, sank. If you're married to this person, Virgo... They gave them access to money that you share and you didn't know. You didn't know. Wow. But yeah, it's like they fell for like a con artist, like a scam of some sort. That's for some of you. I'm just, I'm a little shaken by that, by that, by that. And some of you are going to be too. I think that's why I'm feeling it so strongly. <sighs> wow. Others where, you know, there was a situation or maybe they left you for another person. 
they did not know what they were getting themselves into. They did not realize what they were getting themselves into. Now with that, oh, actually with that, with those, with that energy of those who uh, are dealing with someone who left, who, Jesus, for my Virgos who are dealing with someone who left you for someone else, like for a Queen of Wands energy, I'm feeling a lot of control actually coming forward here. You know, it's kind of like that, like tales all this time, right? It's like where you meet someone and it seems very promising. It seems like they can provide for you. Come to find out they're a wife beater, right? It's something, it's a very much energy like that. Like the movie Enough, if you've ever seen that movie. Awesome movie, great movie. <laughs> J-Lo's in it. Anyway, it's kind of like that. Um, they sold your person a dream, an illusion, and they bought it, not realizing that they were going to lose a lot. I'm also getting dignity. They lost their dignity in this. Anyway, moving ahead. I don't want to get stuck in that. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, they want things to be made right again. They want things to be made right, made right again. I actually, I'm getting that money thing again. Oh, no. Really? For some of you where there's this just a financial thing, where they lost a lot of money to a snake oil salesman, um, they might actually be asking you for money. Okay? Be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. Because overall... They're in, they're in a really low point, Virgo. This is the overall energy of the news that you're getting. It's gonna make it, it's gonna make you feel at a loss, especially if you are very much married to this person or sharing finances with them and finding out you lost a lot of your money because this person trusted someone that they shouldn't have. Um, but either way, I'm feeling a very mutual energy here of of loss of loss and grief. I'm feeling more depression on their end, and for you, it's almost just like it's just that little extra heartbreak right that's coming in with this news and it's interesting Virgo because I feel like you're feeling it more for them than for you which I think just shows how much you really care about them yeah yeah but for those in that married situation man I am so sorry oh god that's awful um let's keep it moving Let's keep it moving to this energy, the Hierophant in reverse and the Knight of Wands. Let's look at the Knight of Wands. I feel like there's a lot going on there. Um, <clears throat> I use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about Knight of Wands. I just heard fell off the wagon. Fell off the wagon. So Virgo, if you're dealing with someone who has um, codependency addiction issues, um, they might they might have fallen off the wagon okay i'm getting gambling with that actually i'm really gambling with that tell me about knight of wands for virgo Shit. Oh, sorry i was i was getting a download i want to make sure I, I got it right um actually it's a little bit of inner dialogue some of you have children with this person and I think that's going to be the most upsetting part for you. It's like you you let this this person around my my children. You let you let this person this this deceiving sli slickery slickery is that a word slickery greasy person around my children. Wow. Tell me about Knight of Wands. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Virgo regarding love. From now until the 23rd, it's going to be okay, Virgo. I feel like some of you guys just got anxiety with me saying that. Um, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I remember, this is a general. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Virgo. Let's see. Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. So release. Breaking away. Breaking away. This reckless behavior, I feel like, was a panic move. It feels like, oh, wow, tower underneath that. Yeah, I'm feeling like there, it was, like, panicky. Very panicky about their situation whatever they panicked about virgo they didn't tell you everything they kept the pan they kept their 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 thinking their logic about the situation in their head and it was a very quick decision there wasn't a whole lot of thought behind it it was a quick decision because they felt very trapped two of cups cancerian energy could al it's also soulmate energy here they felt very trapped in a situation virgo a situation that you were attached to 
Now, it could have just been between the two of you. They felt very trapped or very confined. But whatever decision they made, it was reckless. It was reckless. But you're definitely attached to it. It was a quick move to just make an escape, to get away. Get away from what they thought was a burden. Getting away from what they thought was a bit of a prison-like energy. Tell me about Knight of Wands. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love. From now until the 23rd. Tell me about Knight of Wands. Shh. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love. Wow. So now we have... Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy with the devil Capricorn energy. Someone is married to the job. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up with these two cards. Someone's definitely married to their work. And I feel like they threw themselves into work after making this reckless decision to break away, which does feel like they broke away from you, Virgo. And they threw themselves into work as much as they could. But I'm, I'm also getting a lot of obsessiveness here too. A lot of obsessiveness. What's this obsessiveness about? They really thought they were making the right choice. They really thought they were making the right choice. But it was it was coming from a place of um, fear. It was coming from a place of fear, a place of codependency, a place of ego. This person doesn't realize how much their ego really controls them and, and the decisions they make. They don't realize that. They don't realize that. I'm actually getting more of like a bury their head in the sand sort of thing. This Queen of Wands is, is coming back in too. This Queen of Wands, if this person, if the, if your person works with the Queen of Wands, I definitely feel like there's a lot of whispering in the ear. A lot of kind of getting in their head. Yeah, a lot of getting in their head. Making the, it's so weird. It's almost like they formed a sense of obligation to the Queen of Wands. Especially if they work together, especially if they work together, they formed a sense of obligation toward the Queen of Wands, but the Queen of Wands knew what they were doing. They made sure that they that your person felt that way. Wow. Jesus, master manipulator. All right, now we have the hangman, Piscean energy with the hermit in reverse Virgo energy here. Your person has, has done a lot of thinking here. A lot of thinking. It's so it's so ironic because they they broke away from you with this false sense of imprisonment, right? And only to be in another sense of imprisonment in regards to thinking about you and having a lot of self-reflection about you. Yeah, and they they do want to make this right. And this is all news that you're getting. And for some, like I said, you're also, it's also coming with an offer. They're having some spiritual growth. They are having some spiritual growth, but I'm not entirely convinced that they've moved away from the Queen of Wands. Once they move away from this Queen of Wands, I feel like there will be a very strong effort to come towards you, Virgo. But not all of them are there. Not all of them are there. Some are, but not all of them. Wow. Overall energy. Empress. <laughs> Libra energy. Taurus energy. Divine feminine energy here. I'm actually here. Oh, okay. I'm, now I'm getting threatened energy. I think they were a little intimidated by you, Virgo. I think they were a little intimidated by you and whatever work you were doing or whatever effort you were making towards them, towards yourself, towards work. Um, I'm just, I can't get off of that feeling of threatened and maybe even a little intimidated, feeling like they couldn't live up to those standards. Yeah, feeling like they couldn't live up to you and what you deserved and those standards. So it made them feel a little trapped. They felt the pressure. They put pressure on themselves, essentially, Virgo, to live up to the standards of empress, which means becoming an emperor, right? Or that kind of energy. And instead of living up to it, they just broke away from it. They broke away from it. Some of them threw themselves into work. But I feel like that Queen of Wands, that's where the Queen of Wands came into play. Where it's like, ugh, damn, this this Virgo is so amazing. Look at what the, the Virgo is doing. I could never live up to that. Oh, well, here's a Queen of Wands over here. Who's like, you know, it's like where the Queen of Wands is promising all these things, making it seem like such a little pretty dream. Like, hey, you don't have to do very much, person of Virgo. You don't have to do very much. And then in that way, it started to form a sense of obligation towards the Queen of Wands, something that was easier, something that was also easier for them to do than to live up to your potential, really. Wow. This is all going on. This was all going on in their own head. And I don't think they shared any of that with you. 
They thought it was easier to stay obligated to the Queen of Wands or to just follow the Queen of Wands than to live up to their true potential as a match to you, the Empress Virgo. And now they're in major self-reflection mode, realizing what kind of hole did I come, did I crawl, did I make myself, Jesus, what kind of hole did I bury myself in? Thank you. What kind of hole did I bury myself in? All of this news is going to stun you. The news is revolving around the Queen of Wands, though, whoever this Queen of Wands is to your to your person. That is the news that's going to stun you and also going to make you hurt because you feel so much for your person that it's almost like you're grieving for them. But for those where you're married to this person and they base, you basically lost money because this person made a big fat mistake, you're going to be pretty hurt towards them too, okay? Jeez. Wow, Virgo. Okay. I know, kind of a complicated read. There's a lot of different stuff going on here for different people. Just take things as they resonate, all right? You might have to watch this a couple times. All right, let's get some advice. <laughs> let's get some advice, Virgo. Any advice for my Virgos? regarding this spread any advice for my virgos oh come on now any advice for my virgos regarding this spread any advice for my virgos regarding this spread any advice for my virgos regarding this spread Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? I think some of you are also going to find out. Like, I think a lot of you already know about this Queen of Wands, whoever they are to your person. But I think you're going to find out their involvement has gone a lot longer and deeper than you were led to believe. Okay? That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Any advice for my Virgos? regarding this spread don't forget the growth you've already had virgo don't forget all the work you've already done on yourself and in your own business okay don't forget that you've come a long way wow wow we have moth spirit surrender now 39 breaking down to a three an elephant spirit learn from the past 25 breaking down to a seven a three and a seven i'm getting cyclical energy with that too um surrendering to the pain that you've been through and surrendering to the lessons learned okay um and accepting that this this situation is a big fat lesson learned that's making you a lot wiser. And even though it's painful to hear, even though it's painful to feel it, and especially like I said, a lot of you, you're feeling more pain for them than you are for you, which I think is actually just a reflection on your character. And again, how much you care for them, but it is making you a lot wiser. All right. It sucks. I know it hurts. If you just surrender to it, it'll be a lot smoother. I'm also feeling that for your person. I'm also really feeling that for your person, like surrendering to the fact they made a big fat mistake, surrendering to the fact that living up to putting the pressure they did on themselves because they put pressure on themselves, Virgo, they put pressure on themselves to meet your standards. And it's not even standards you had on them. It's standards you had for yourself. They felt like they had to be right up at your level in order to make things work with you. And that was their own mistake to put that amount of pressure on themselves. OK, and they need to surrender to that. We all fuck up. We do. We all make mistakes. We're all only human, honestly. <laughs> We're all having a human experience. We're all going to mess up from time to time. But we just have to surrender to the fact that we do mess up and that we're going to learn from it. Once you accept your mistakes, then you can start learning from it. Any other advice from Virgo regarding this spread? Any other advice from Virgo regarding this spread? Any other advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? Okay. <laughs> Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Oh, and look, 28, cyclical energy. <laughs> I was feeling cyclical energy, and here it is. Getting rid of the baggage, getting rid of the toxic shit, getting rid of stuff that doesn't serve you or anyone else. And you've already been doing this, Virgo. You've already been doing this. Um, I do feel like it's also in regards to the situation for both parties here. Both parties kind of need to do a little bit of frog cleanup with this, okay? Um, mm. For your person, it's definitely getting rid of this Queen of Wands, with, without a doubt. Getting rid of this Queen of Wands and getting rid of this like perception and idea that they have to put so much freaking pressure on themselves and do battle by themselves in a relationship. 
that's not how relationships work, right? They need to get rid of that kind of mindset. And Virgos, I just feel like this is just going to hurt, honestly. And for you, it's, it's more so just about continuing to do the growth that you've been, the growth process you've been going through, because you have been on a growing journey, a journey about growth. Ugh. Um, and you've already been doing this, right? But this is more so about just dealing with the pain of it. And so you can let it go. Dealing with the pain of it so you can let it go and move on to the next. Moving on to the next. Overall, we do have spider spirit. Make your dreams real. 56, breaking down to an 11. This is a manifestation energy, which Virgos, you are great manifestors. You are the magician, are you not? Um, you can manifest what you want out of this situation. If you want this person, oh, some of you did manifest them back. Okay. My guy is just only that. Some of you did manifest this person back. Keep manifesting your dreams. Honestly, Virgo, just keep manifesting your dreams, not being too specific about it, letting things come in that are best for you, not necessarily what you want. Um, and to allow the closure of this situation to also allow you to push yourself forward. Okay. Wow. All right, Virgos, I hope this was helpful and insightful. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Virgos. Namaste.